Indian 2, Zero Tolerance continues the saga of Senapthi, an ex-freedom fighter turned vigilante who resumes his fight against corruption. Plot summary, set 28 years after the events of the first film, Indian 2 sees Senapthi, Kamal Hazen, returning to India to aid Chitra Aravindan, Siddharth, a young man who exposes corrupt politicians through his YouTube channel, Barking Dogs, known for its political satire and parodies. Plot and pacing, set 28 years after the original, the film follows Senapthi, Kamal Hazen, as he returns to India to assist Chitra Aravindan, Siddharth, who exposes corrupt politicians through his YouTube channel. The premise, although promising, is lost in a convoluted plot that meanders without a clear direction. The storyline is bogged down by unnecessary subplots and an excessive runtime, over six hours, leading to the film being split into two parts. The pacing is erratic, with prolonged scenes that add little to the narrative. Key moments that should be impactful are drowned in melodrama and over the top action sequences, failing to evoke the intended emotional response. The film's attempt to blend satire, vigilante justice, and political commentary results in a tonal inconsistency that leaves the audience confused about its message. Character Development Kamal Hazen's portrayal of Senapthi is commendable, but even his seasoned performance cannot salvage the poorly written script. His character, once a symbol of righteous anger and justice, now seems lost in a haze of repetitive monologues and redundant flashbacks. The new characters, particularly Chitra and his friends, lack depth and fail to make a lasting impression. Siddharth, in the role of Chitra, delivers a lukewarm performance, hampered by cliched dialogues and a lack of character growth. The supporting cast, including Rakul Preet Singh as Disha and S. J. Surya as Sakala Kala Valavan Sarguna Pandyan, are reduced to caricatures with little substance. The film's antagonists are stereotypical and lack the nuance that made the original's villains memorable. Even high-profile cameos, like Rajinikanth's appearance as Savaji, feel forced and add little value to the story. Technical aspects, visually, Indian 2 is a mixed bag. While the cinematography by Ravi Varman and R. Ruthnavelu has moments of brilliance, it often falls into the trap of overstylization. The use of CGI is excessive and, at times, distracts from the narrative. The action sequences, although grand, lack the finesse and realism that could have made them engaging. Anirudh Ravichandar's music, while decent, fails to leave a lasting impact. The background score often overpowers the dialogue, adding to the film's overall disjointed feel. Editing by A. Shrikar Prasad is another major letdown, with abrupt cuts and a lack of coherent flow between scenes. Themes and execution, one of the biggest disappointments is the film's handling of its themes. The original Indian was a hard-hitting critique of corruption and social injustice, resonating deeply with audiences. In contrast, Indian 2's attempt to address contemporary issues through a digital age lens falls flat. The narrative is preachy, lacking the subtlety and grit that made the original impactful. The film's length exacerbates these issues, making it a tedious watch. The decision to split the movie into two parts seems more like a commercial tactic than a creative necessity. The cliffhanger ending feels abrupt and unsatisfying, failing to build anticipation for the next installment. Conclusion, Indian 2, Zero Tolerance had the potential to be a powerful sequel, but it is bogged down by a convoluted plot, inconsistent pacing, and lackluster character development. Despite Kamal Hazen's earnest performance, the film fails to capture the essence of its predecessor, delivering a disappointing and forgettable experience. The anticipation for Indian 3 is now met with skepticism, as this sequel leaves much to be desired.